Welcome back to the show. And I have one of my favorite paper artists with us today. We have Darlene Dumlau, and she has such, such a really cute project. Tell us about it, it's so cute. We're gonna make this um, easy owl card. Mm -hmm. And um, we're just gonna use punches. Punches? Yes, punches, my favorite yes. tool. <laughs> and um, buttons. It is really, really sweet. So how did you figure out all the different punches to use? Um, I just thought of what the shapes were and just mm -hmm. kind of made it up. Let's see. Sure. It is so cute. I have different oh, ones. It oh, it's a whole family. Yeah. <laughs> That's cute. Or friends. Okay. Is it, is it hard though? No. No? It's no. Not? I try to okay. make it easy, as easy as I okay. can. Okay. So can you okay. explain what we got to do? So we're going to make the... Um, the blue owl today. Okay, the blue owl. And it uses the standard size um, card. So mm -hmm. it's actually a eight and a half inch by five and a half folded in half. Okay. So you can buy these in um, packs. Oh they're, yeah. They're either mm -hmm. like beige or white or colored, mm -hmm. or you can cut your own out. And so I have a piece here that's already folded. Mm -hmm. And so we're gonna use it um, vertically. And we're gonna make the, um, the top um, shape. Uh huh. And we're gonna use um, a giant circle punch. A giant circle. Yeah, it's the actually the mega. The circle pink punch. The pink. Okay. Yes, they're all color coded, so it's yeah. Get color the coding pink one. is good. <laughs> and then um, to mark the middle, mm -hmm. I just use a sciz scissors, and I just mm -hmm. snip where the middle would be. Oh. It's got guide. Mm -hmm. And then um, you probably want to do it. Um, each layer one at a time. It might be hard to punch both at the same time. So you're just gonna cut, um, punch out just a little bit off the top. Okay. And then you're gonna use the top layer as a guide and just follow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Otherwise you'd be struggling, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it might be hard, depending on your, the thickness of your paper. Okay. And then I also like to um, round the corners uh -huh. to get more of um, the owl shape, mm -hmm. the owl body shape. So I use, um, this is another one of my favorite tools. It's the corner chomper. Mm. And um, there's different styles, but I, I like to use the regular um, rounder, one fourth or one half inch rounder. Okay. And so I'm gonna use the, um, the bigger side, the one half inch. Mm -hmm. So you just open the paper guides up and you just line the corner in the, in the guides. And you can do it both at the same time. Oh, so okay, this one, yeah. because it's... It's, it's really easy, just not even a lot of pressure. Okay. So we're getting the um, shape. Mm -hmm. And the next thing we do is we're gonna do the eyes. So it's another size circle. It's okay. the um, one and one half inch yellow circle <laughs> the punch. Yellow circle punch. And um, we're gonna use blue, um, a darker blue. Okay. So you can use up your paper scraps. Oh, mm -hmm. I have a lot of paper scraps. So you can save them and then um, just use those. So we're gonna punch out two. Okay. There's two. And then we're also gonna punch the um, the beak part. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna use orange cardstock. It's another, another scrap. Okay. And um, I found that it's easier, instead of just cutting a little triangle out with uh -huh. your scissors, if you could use your star punch. Oh. And you can punch the, the whole star out if you want. This is the blue star punch. Okay. <laughs> I think it's about like two inches. Or so, uh -huh. Yeah, about two inches. But it's good that they color code it. Yeah, So because yeah, you don't always remember the, um, mm -hmm. the measurements. And then I'm not really good with numbers, so. <laughs> so I just remember the colors. We're gonna cut the, um, the star in half. Oh, okay. So we have more of um, a paper piece to glue down mm -hmm. instead of a small itty bitty piece. But you can save that for next time. And we're gonna use the, um, the liquid glue. Mm -hmm. And there's two tips to this glue. I use this, the skinnier tip. Okay. Or you could use double stick tape or a glue mm -hmm. dot. That's good too. Okay. So I put down this in the center, just wherever. Where you think your beak is gonna yeah. go. Yeah. And then we're also gonna next glue the eyes. So this one where we're gonna use the glue dot because it's easier. So you just kiss it, kiss it, whoops. Kiss it. Yeah, you kiss it to the paper. And then you <laughs> glue it over your, the um, piece, it's gonna be covered, yeah. Uh-huh. 
And you do the other side too. Oh. See? Oh. You can see them now, right? <laughs> okay, and the next part is the, I guess more of the body shape at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And you could use a printed paper for more, um, to make it stand out more. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna use the giant heart punch. Okay. The purple, purple. one. <laughs> Get your printed piece. Uh -huh. And we're just gonna um, punch out a heart. Okay. So we're gonna um, actually use double stick tape for this. Okay. Using the punches is really actually makes it kind of fast, Joe. Yeah, it is. You can make like, I think I made like four in like 10 minutes or something. I don't know. Oh my gosh. It was like a factory. <laughs> but you can use it for invitations or thank you cards or whatever. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to glue it down at the bottom below the beak. And you can, um, it's okay if it hangs off a little because mm -hmm. you can I'll get your scissors and snip it off. So I just flip it over and I just. Good. And um, the last part is also one of my favorite parts. It's um, because I like buttons, and we're going to use uh -huh. buttons for the, the top, okay. the eyes. Oh. So I don't, I'm really, um, I don't really have a rule for the buttons. <laughs> it's just whatever you want. Okay. Just, it doesn't have to match. Oh, okay. So um, I want big eyes. So we use the glue dots again, mm -hmm. and you kiss it on. There's one, and it doesn't have to be the same color. Because it's makes more it more interesting. Yeah, it's more fun that way, isn't mm -hmm. it? And it's so hard to find the same exact one too. So. <laughs> and then we're done. That is so cute. Oh, and then you can um, write a message on the inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can make. Um, but oh, always. yeah, that's cute. Yeah. That's cute. Oh, huh, so you can use, like you said, you just use your scraps, and you can come up with a whole flock of. Yeah. Are owls a flock? Um, I don't know. They can be. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you call a bunch of owls, but they're cute. They're, be, they're really cute to just hanging them up, too. You can make it smaller, too, and make baby owls. Baby owls. With a baby card. Okay. <laughs> or a tag. Uh-huh. Or an ornament. Or all or kinds of stuff. Or a yeah. favor. Yeah. Or see, this is what happens okay. when, <laughs> when Darlene and I get together. We see something, and we just kind of like go on and then it just snowballs into yeah. all these lots of projects so it's always fun working <laughs> with her so thank you for sharing this one and you're going to come back and share some another cute project yes that I saw, yeah. yes it kind of matches this one great well we're going to take a short break and we'll be right back <laughs>